As we continue Character Actor Month, and because I know my mother loves clowns, maybe let's start with a clown this time. Troy? Troy? <laughs> Are clowns ever funny? I really don't think so. Welcome to A Tough Act to Follow. I'm Preston, aka The Peeluminator, and I will be your devoted husband, here to prepare a tasty lunch filled with all the nutritious Hollywood secrets from across the Hollywood food groups. And since it's still June and I'm being entirely self-indulgent, I'm using the next couple of videos to highlight actors who I think deserve far more praise than they get. I'm talking about the that guy from that one thing actors, the B and C list character actors who deserve far more respect. And one who I love every time he shows up, no matter how, when, or where, is John Carroll Lynch. And why is it that I've become excited by an actor whose name some people don't even know? What is it about this mostly gentle giant that keeps me interested in the characters he creates time after time? And is there something that keeps him from becoming a household name while still allowing him to flourish as a consistent and reliable character actor? Well, when I'm done with this video, I think you'll realize that John Carroll Lynch is most certainly a tough act to follow. As this is Character Actor Month, we have to once again discuss what makes a character actor a character actor. And this time I'm starting off by talking about type. People in Hollywood are often cast in roles based on a number of factors besides just their acting talent. Height, weight, gender, the way they look, and so much more can determine what kind of roles a person gets. So when we're talking about someone like John, you can't overlook the way he is. He's six foot four. he's got a large and powerful presence right out of the gate. Even without doing much, he can come across as intimidating very easily, and it's allowed him to excel in a number of roles from thrillers and horror movies. <laughs> Don't be afraid. There's a plan for us. Will. Just let go. Just... We'll be there soon. I promise. And John is completely aware of how he appears when he's on screen, and it really allows him to imbue this intimidating quality into a character when he needs it. He's able to take even the simplest lines and find a way of twisting them in order to make the character even more discomforting than it would have been just by his presence alone. And when done well, this ability to imbue characters with a complete eeriness is entirely unsettling. And then she collapsed and she was gone. What the fuck? It was a terrible, terrible mistake. It was seven years ago, I went to prison, I paid that way, but I was still the same person. However, there is a way to take type and spin it to fit multiple genres. Well, yes, John is a big imposing figure, he can use that knowledge to offset the character and the preconceptions behind it to great comedic effect. By taking what we expect of someone and playing against that type, it allows actors to defy expectations and ultimately make very memorable moments. Keep it in the family, okay? Mm. I'll kill you. Let's go. Daddy? Now. Daddy? Now! And by building this idea that a character's personality does not fit within the body they inhabit, it allows the character to have similar moments to other characters, but in a completely different way. Rather than an act of violence being something menacing, a similar action can be kind of meek and really hilarious. I'm only 17 years old! Daddy. What are you talking about? Oh god, oh god. I have no idea what you're talking about. No! Oh, Daddy! Oh. No what? Stop. No what? Is this some kind of a skit? Because I'm lost. No. 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 Daddy, Daddy doesn't even know that I'm in love with him. <laughs> And this is John's biggest skill. By understanding his type, he's able to use it or reject it as he needs to. When the role is supposed to be dopey or simple, it's very effective, but there is a way to take that idea and turn it on its head. When a character is supposed to be someone menacing, however, it is very easy for John to make a simple but effective choice that reinforces that idea. Can I help you? No.
and it's because John knows how to do a lot with a little. He's got a real knack for simple actions that show a wide array of ambiguous intentions. The character actors who really excel have to master this skill. They don't often get a lot of screen time and they need to make big impressions quickly. John knows how to come on screen and instantly take control. And he's so good at it that he pops up everywhere without us realizing it. But when the role has a serious moment of substance, it's hard not to notice. I told all this to the other officer. Which other officer? From Vallejo. Do you remember his name? No, but it was right after the murder at the lake. And what did you tell this officer? I told him that I'd gone to Salt Point that weekend to skin dive, that I was alone, but I met a couple there. I have their names at home if you want. That would be great, Arthur. Lee. What? Lee. Nobody calls me Arthur. And yet, sometimes a character actor is just playing a supporting role. You aren't really working to take over a scene, you're just helping to reinforce the lead actor's work and make those characters more defined. Supporting actors often have to lift up the performances around them and add flavor to larger worlds without being too big or scene-stealing. Just simply living in the scene and adding to it through simple things is what character actors can excel at. Yeah? Prowler needs a jump. And yet this doesn't mean being lifeless. Well, yes, Norm is low energy. He's not no energy. There's still life in that character, and that's a talent John has. He knows how to do a lot without doing very much. Often he can just sit in silence and make a lot of compelling moments without moving or saying anything. They announced it. They announced it? Yeah. So? Three cent stamp. You're Mallard? Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. It's just a three cent. It's terrific. Hoffman's Blue Wing Teal got the 29 cent. People don't much use the three cent. Oh, for peace, of course they do. But that doesn't mean that John is simply someone who never gets a lot of substance in the story. He's not just a comedic foil, or a big menacing presence, or someone who's just a simple addition to the scene. He can still play strong and dynamic characters well. This is because John uses those same basic tools very, very well. He's able to make intentions for each character and allows those intentions to work across the entire movie to create genuine moments and deep character arcs. You gotta tell him. Tennis court? Okay. He brings me up to this tennis court, and he's drawn this line, the exact dimensions of our kitchen. Sink on the right, Egg. extruder on the left. Struder. Bagging and hood. Hood. Okay. Garnish, garnish. This, this is uh, burger finish. Got it. And then this is burger slide. We could just move those. Okay. Multi mixer, soft drinks. Okay. We bring out our whole staff, and we have them go through the motions, making pretend burgers and fries. All right, Steve. And ultimately, while well, yes, John is a force when he has very little action, he's just as powerful when he has big moments, too. You put Dick's arches on your letterhead? This is not your company, Ray. Mac. Do you understand that? Mac, don't get upset. We came up with the speedy system, not you. Us. What did you ever come up with? Uh, can you name one thing? You can't, and you never have, and you never will, because you are a leech, Ray. You are a professional leech. You know what I came up with, Mac? A concept. I came up with the concept of winning. While well, you two boys were content to sit back and be a couple of also ran. And again, this character feels different from all the other ones. John plays each character with sincere intentions and doesn't let them become stagnant or just copies of each other. From scary to imposing to comedic and beyond, it all feels different. So why do we like John Carroll Lynch? One, John knows his type. By understanding how he is perceived, John is able to lean into those strengths to better help sell his roles and their place in the story. By understanding his appearance, he can better deliver characters who fit within that scope and make the world fuller as a result. 2. John can play against type. While well, yes, John leans into his type, he also knows how to play against it and really push back to make characters feel different from each other and allows them to not just get stuck in similar roles over and over again. 3. John can do a lot with a little. By only having a certain amount of screen time, John knows how to make every moment count. His ability to come into a movie for a single scene or two and leave a grand impression allows him to feel more interesting without getting lost in the shuffle of the movie. 4. John lives in the scenes. John is so able to fully create a character that he never seems like he's just someone in the movie, but a person living in that movie's world. Not only this, but he can create a memorable character moment with minimal text or action. 5. 
John is diverse. John's ability to stretch himself makes each role different from the last. Even when characters are similar, they often have enough distinction that they never feel like the same character is simply being repeated over and over again across numerous movies, but instead feel like they are real people and each one of them is unique. And there you have it, a name that you can now use whenever he appears in a movie. But which movies does he appear in, and which ones leave the greatest impact? Well, as I've said before, character actors don't always have the run of the picture, but when they do, they make it count. And John is no exception. So here are my five essential John Carroll Lynch performances. 1. The Invitation This psychological horror-slash-thriller gives John the chance to lean hard into his type dramatically, and the movie has a slow start, but leads to a big finish with John as a standout throughout the entire thing. 2. Crazy Stupid Love John gets some truly standout moments as this dopey husband who just wants to protect and provide for his family. And when he finally does get to unleash a big moment and break out of his shell, he really blows the roof off the movie to great comedic effect. 3. Zodiac John only has two major scenes in this movie, but he leaves such an impact that he's almost present throughout the much later half of the movie. And that's because he leaves such an impression in the minds of both the characters and the audience that it sticks with us until the final frame of the movie. 4. Fargo this role is small, but wickedly funny. The deadpan and very mundane nature of Norm allows the character to just kind of be, and somehow still be hilarious as a counterpoint to the higher energy and more bubbly Marge. Not only that, but John's ability to do a lot with a little allows him to earn those comedic moments without really speaking. 5. The Founder this movie is an upsetting tale of corporate bullying and scheming that helped found the biggest fast food chain of all time. John's role as the far too trusting half of the McDonald brothers shows a softer side of his character, while still letting him take a major moment or two in order to really leave an impact. And that is why John Carroll Lynch is a tough act to follow. Thanks everyone for watching. What John Carroll Lynch roles are your favorites? Were there moments you were thinking would show up? As you can see, there is no one too small to analyze, so who would you like to see next? Let me know when they may show up sooner than you realize. And if you like this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you do, I'll teach you my secret burger recipe. And please, share this video with anyone and everyone. I'm spreading the good word of that one guy from that one thing actors across the board, and you can help. If you really like these videos and want to help me keep making them, please check out my Patreon. You can learn how I make the episodes and get a shout out like these wonderful people. Thanks mom and dad. Sorry about the clown, Mom. And be sure to subscribe so you can catch each moment. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, and as I always say, thanks for taking the time to get P-Illuminated.